Good lord, first the fairy lights and now I'm making a video in my bedroom. I've gone full YouTube. Hello, my geeks and peeps, my explainers and entertainers, my little oodle allies. Rebecca Param here. What's this? A Let Me Explain Studios video that is neither animated nor about animation? I suddenly feel very vulnerable. But hey, we explainers, we're flexible, we have a broad range of interests and passions. And one of mine that you may or may not know about is singing. Hello from the other side. Sing opera and everyone's like, oh, that's nice, but you bring out Adele and everyone's like, ooh. It's no secret that YouTube is a haven for indie musicians and a lot of my favorite YouTubers are just that. Musical wizards. So is it any wonder that I have a burning desire to sing with them? I'm doing that thing where you throw ideas out into the open to see if anything comes of it. And even if nothing does, you guys still have a list of cool musicians on YouTube that you need to go check out. So here are some YouTubers that I really want to sing with. First, there's Megan Tanjez. Not only is this girl tenacious and eloquently spoken and just sexy as all hell, she's got a voice that I would liken to a sea siren. I am affected by you. I know I really shouldn't stay. It's soft and pure and she has the control of a Celtic woman. Her songs Waiting For You and Affected could lure me to my death in a heartbeat. I very often pull confidence from her as a fellow plus-size woman, and she's just a joy to listen to. So Megan, I am affected by you. In a completely platonic musical way. We should definitely sing. I feel kind of bad because I've only recently been looking into Dodie Clark's work, but her song My Face has been stuck in my head for days now. Hello, this is my skin. Please mind your step on the pause in my falling. Her songs kind of have a bubbly sense of humor and sometimes they're richly deep and sometimes they highlight the beauty of the small things, which I love. And Dodie, please don't take this the wrong way, but I just love the fact that you sound like you're singing with a stuffed up nose. It's really unique and pretty and I think we would sound so good singing a duet together. Dodie, let's sing. Tessa Violet, what a sweet young woman. I saw her and Rusty Clanton during their living room tour, and if you are a fan of love, this is the girl for you. Each other, you can't shake me. I think we're going crazy. Keep saying that we're through, but baby, I'm not over you. A lot of her songs are about that soft, innocent type of love, like holding hands while walking on the railroad tracks. Her latest song, Not Over You, just knocked my socks off, and in addition to her music, she speaks from the heart about social issues and mental health. Tessa, I know you're watching. We should sing. Okay, so now I have to mention Rusty Clanton. I did an ugly doodle of him on Twitter because he challenged me to. Don't be challenging, Becca. Mama told me don't be hasty, Daddy said to wait. You got your whole life ahead. Rusty's an old soul, like me, and he also has a very rustic, woodsy feel about him. His music is so peaceful, and it kind of gives you that feeling of nostalgia. And good lord, he plays the trumpet! Oh, it's like candy for my soul. But yeah, everything on his channel is worth a listen. Rusty, let's sing some time. So next we have Harry Partridge! Ha! I figured out a way to include animation! For those of you who don't know him, Harry Partridge is kind of a king of animation on YouTube. His technique is immaculate, considering he's a slave to quality. And this jerk has the nerve to also be a beautiful singer and a music composer on top of everything. Now what I mean is... With animation you can create worlds unimagined by man. Hey Harry, can you hear me atop your pedestal of talent? And while our animation content is pretty different, I still hear that lovely singing voice and I think to myself, dang, I need to sing some Phantom of the Opera with him. So Harry, if you can tear yourself away from that Cintiq for more than five minutes, we should definitely sing together. So while on the topic of YouTubers whose specialty is not actually music, Markiplier! Now I know what you're saying. Becca, that's quite a stretch. After all, he is a gamer and has never shown talent in singing before. That's how you guys sound in my head. I know, I know, he's a gamer. But this is my fantasy. And his one feature that everybody can't seem to stop talking about 
is that silvery radio voice. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to reading your comments. So one has to wonder what kind of amazing songs we would get if he ever shifted focus to music. And they're not even responsible for dismemberment or injury. So Marky Moo, if you ever want to give singing a go, let's collab. She said, knowing there was a snowball's chance in hell that would ever happen. Let's hop back across the pond to discuss Emma Blackery. If ever there was a person born of 90s and 2000s alternative punk rock, it would be Emma. The MySpace generation. I know you wanna, but don't come home. This girl earned her stripes by actually being a part of indie punk rock bands back in her early days. And now, apart from being a cynical, snarky comedian, she makes music on her channel with a voice that I would describe as sharp. Much like her wit. Her work ranges from strong and powerful to sweet and soft. And I really think that her rock voice would be a perfect clash compliment to my classical voice. Emma, let's sing. And last but certainly not least is Mr. Pitch Perfect 2 himself, Blue LeBorg. Boy, what a gimmick. This German DJ comedian exploded onto YouTube a couple years ago with his incredible music and very outlandish brand of humor. Dinosaur D -D -D -J. I am a dinosaur, dinosaur D -D -D -J. I trample everything. And any musical person who knows about Flula has fantasized about what song they would sing in that auto-tune series of his. I still can't decide which one I would do, but I want to do it. But you can guess it would probably be an adventure, and I would have a hard time not laughing. So Flula, wir sollten zusammen singen. So those are just a handful of people that I really, really want to sing with. There are more, but this video would have gotten way too long. It's already long enough. And if you're on that list and you're watching this video, here's my Twitter and my email. We'll chat. And don't worry guys, a new cartoon is on its way. Here's a clip. I arrived first day to this class and immediately like i set one foot in the door Ooh, what shenanigans are in store for becca this time all right explainers and entertainers it has been so great to see you again thank you so much for tuning in but now i gotta tune out bye